based on analysis on 10.344.8. We have codified the new sign of energy source as phaeton, a V index mutagen of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin impacting approximately 20 years ago, expelling phaeton into the environment. This material appears to possess life-wide characteristics. Mutating organic life forms strong enough to withstand poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Town 4 are being finalized. Hello everybody and welcome back to Metroid Prime! I am going to do a small little shortcut right here because we finally have the double jump and it's awesome to have. And we skipped our way into better and awesome things because we love playing this game so much and I'm not going to put up with these, with these guys anymore because they're annoying. Bang. So anyways, um... No, not you. But... <laughs> whoops. Anyways. Right now we're going to head to the room that we weren't able to... Um, you know, double jump through. Uh, oh boy, here's a battle with the jerks right here. Oh great, I don't think I'm suitable. For, I'm, I don't think I'm suitable to fight these guys right now. For now, um, so they win. Ouch! Shot me in the ass too. Nice. So, anyways, um, I basically almost scanned everything in the zero whole area. So, except for one item, I mean, one research data thing, Mabobber, which I like to call him. Um, you. Uh, anyways, excuse that. But anyway, he doesn't he doesn't get in your way all the time, but here's what you have to scan. This thing. A uh, hanging rock structure, also known as a stalactite. Thank you very much. Just shoot it, and it becomes a platform. Which is awesome to us, and not awesome to the environment, because we are not environmentalists whatsoever. So, let's keep on going. There should be a couple enemies roaming around because I shot one and they're kind of angry right now. We have already scanned these guys, so if you haven't scanned them, scan them right now before um, you won't ever get a chance to. So, uh, it's pretty wise. Now, there's a power up over there, but we're not going to get it because we don't have a, a weapon right now that we can't currently use. So, I'll shut off later on. And let's go through here. And I remember the refinding, I mean, not refinding, the, the, uh, the reintroduction of these stupid little scarabs. They're everywhere and they like to be annoyed, so they're jerks. So, how about that? How about it? So, just blow up, you guys. Normally, they don't give you any missile upgrades, but whatever, I'll take it. Alright, we find ourselves into a new room. These guys are full of flicker bats. Uh, you guys want to take out these flicker bats uh, as soon as you can. Reason why, because um, there's a puzzle in here. I mean, a timed puzzle, or a timed event. I'll come later, but. Uh, you need to get rid of those guys, and here's our introduction to a spinner. Spinners are, you know, just basically keys, so, you know, just get into the morph ball and just start spinning to your heart's content with the boost ball. So, and it up activates that, and you hear some change in music. Knowing that, I mean, saying that you did it right somehow. <laughs> and there's another magnetic rail, it's a shortcut, but we don't really need one right now because we are currently mountain people. So, let's do another one right here. And we're groovy. We just need to get we just need to get up there and we'll be great. Uh which is twice as good as groovy, but <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm talking oh shoot. Uh falling tends to happen. You know, it's a natural it's a natural selected type thing, so not everybody gets the best out of um not everybody gets the best of uh, Metroid, so it's gonna shoot these guys out here first because um we're gonna have to cross where they're flying and um if we don't cross what they're flying, uh, we're gonna get hit by these guys, and they don't blow up, so... Oh, come on. You two. And I think they're all dead, so... Yeah, they're all dead. I'm just double-checking because I'm kind of paranoid when it comes to those enemies, and we just have to blow this up. Oh, nice. Fills up the whole room full of water. Uh, you can't leave the room, just saying. And you can't enter the room when it's full of water, so... 
Uh, I, I wouldn't know how you'd be able to get out of here if the room was full of water anyways in the first place, but whatever. Um, I guess it's possible, but you can't leave the room, so... If it's full of water, just saying. And here is something I'm going to do first, because this place has this little special item that I like. Health! Or an energy tank in uh, Metroidian, I heard. So, alright, let's go down and I'll see you guys back up onto the bomb slot. Alright, so we did, uh, you know, the same thing again, but this time we're going to take a different path. We're going to go this way now. I'm also doing. I'm also holding the L button because uh, it actually helps you jump a lot better, and it also gives you more distance. And it also does. Um, also, also, <laughs> go figure. But uh, it also helps you. Um, you know, aim your. Um, where can I say this? Helps your platforming in a way. So, here's a new door type. We can't scan it because it's just regular. I mean, it's not research. It's not a research data. Although the locked doors are research data for some reason. And here is a uh, new element or a new. Um, not a new element, but a new. Comp uh, I forgot. <laughs> a compound, sorry. And there is a save station over there if you want to save, but I'm not going to right now, so... Let's go in here first. This is Research um, research Lab Hydra. Uh, anybody who's a weak stomach and doesn't like seeing grotesque things, or uh, maybe space pirates, uh, please don't enter here and uh, be warned. Well, actually, what am I saying? Don't enter here. You're trying to beat the game, aren't you? So, Alright, so... I'm just gonna do a little scan trick here, but first of all, I'm gonna enter here, here quickly and scan, not scan that. Say was a turret and no boy. Here he is. Space pirate, or a shadow pirate, in fact. These guys are stragglers. Very stragglers. Sorry. These guys are not cool at all. This guy was not using a stealth though. But um, normally, when he turns stealth, when he uses stealth, you can't see him. He is more like the ninja guy than ninja, um, Ryu Hayabusa, because he likes going out, all out, and just blowing stuff up on people. So it's kind of like we're, it's kind of like what we're doing, but um, he was kind of doing the same thing too. But it doesn't make any sense anymore. All right, though, guys, welcome to the main part of Research Lab Hydra. Enjoy. Alright, Space Pirates, your main common enemy in this game, these are the enemies that you're trying to stop from ruling the whole world or galaxy if you want to say so. Normally Formists can take these guys out in a, in a quick amount of time, but in this case these guys, there are a lot of these guys right here and they just keep, they just keep on coming, so let's get you out of here. We also use missile canceling because I'm a jerk. And they're also really good dodgers, I hate these guys, they also know how to roll. Apparently they've, they've been playing the Legend of Zelda games and <laughs> stop them to stop side streaming. All right, they're all gone. Okay, make sure there's no other enemies around here. Let me get some missiles. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of these missiles. They do have a better rapid fire than the charge beam, so I'm gonna start using these things more often. Uh, let's see what's in there. Uh, let's see what's out here. Nothing. Only missiles. Eat that. That's good. So, more offense. More offensive, so... Okay, map station. This is what we need. Final operations have begun near the crater where Phaeton appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phaeton yields increase 44%, and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personal equipment flows increase. Several instances of Phaeton and use mad incidents reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassistance 
Thank you for those five years for recommended. As the material proves more stable than the mission lab indicated.